This is episode 64 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 8th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve deep dive into a Polish-style smoked lager, two hazy IPAs, and a double IPA. This is the Podcraft Beer Show, where we go through craft beers from... San Diego to around the world. I'm your host, Charlie, and we got tech guy Steve here. Present. And Chris may or may not contact us when he calls in, but uh, he's on the road today, so he won't be here live, but we may be able to pick him up at some point. But we got four beers uh, we're going to run through today. We have um, two from modern times. Uh, one of them is uh, Groziri. Gro- Groziki. Groziki. And that is a smoked lager. Mm. We have a hazy from uh, Fall. And we have a hazy, a brand new hazy from Society. And then Spirit Fowl, double Spirit Fowl from Modern Times. And uh, what's that place in Ma- Minnesota? Uh, uh, Fair State. Fair State. Yeah. So we're going to jump into those. First things first, we're going to crack a beer and pour it. Our, oh, gosh, that was painful. But. Here we go. Delicious looking beverage. Very clear and crisp. Oh, that's the Groziki. Yeah, it looks nice. It is. Pour some for yourself there, Steve. I will. Smells, oh, oh. that peat moss. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, you can really taste it. That is unusual. It's. I like that beer because mm-hmm. there's a couple of them around town here. That's a German style, and they do that specifically in a certain town. I can't remember what it was. My nephew-in-law is going to kill me because that's where he was born in Germany. <laughs> is that like Hell's? No, uh, that's no, a different, no, that's no. a different style. Right? Yeah, it's a smoked. It's it's mm-hmm. that's that flavor you get in there. That rich, smoky. I guess it's peaty peat moss or something like that. Maybe some other uh, ingredients too. But man, it is. It smells like smoked cheese and tastes like it too, man. Super clear though for a for what you think it would be a much you know darker, richer beer, but it looks like a lager is what mm-hmm. it looks like. What are you getting? You definitely can taste the the smoky. I mean, smoke it's is a weird. taste. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. But. Well, that's what um, the Fair State has one that they do, and I'm telling you, that's the first time I ever tasted it, and it was amazing. This is on that same level, maybe a little bit more smoky than that one was, because I think that one was a sour. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was fantastic, and like I said, it's it's a German style because they do it in a particular town over there. There's only 3.1 percent alcohol, so it's very very light. I mean, you could. You could drink these all day if you want. I mean, it'd be hard to because it's so mm-hmm. rich. But. Yeah, it is. A, it's a flavor that grows on you. I'm yeah. Talking. Smoked lager. I've got. We've had a couple of these mm-hmm. different different people that make them, and this is, I think, one of the better ones. I bought this at uh, Flavor Dome down there in uh, South Park, uh, Modern Times. That little uh, pub here. Uh, what do they call it? A tap room there that they have. It's it's very. So it's a Modern Times tap room. Yeah. And it's 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 pretty big actually, but they read out all the streets down there and everything. So there, there's parking right out front now, and it's pretty pretty neat. They serve food there? Uh, no, they don't. But I think you can bring food in because there's a taco stand right around the corner, which is an awesome place to mm. eat, and then Underbelly, which is oh, right, right next right. door to okay. that. That's that a good place. Is really some good ramen there. So okay. now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's right before. on that corner, and the Jack in the Box is across the street from that. So <laughs> <laughs> you got your. <laughs> Broad spectrum of yeah, food there. Three options. But have you ever been to the taco stand? I have not. Oh my gosh, you got to go there. Okay, I'll put it's, it on. They're super legit. I mean, that's what it's called. It's the taco stand. I mean, mm-hmm. and they're authentic and very, very good. So there's usually a crowd in that place, but uh, this beer is rather enjoyable. I would like to have this with a like a what's what's the pork? Uh, oh shoot, what's it called? Anyways, it's a pork. Asada like, you know, mm-hmm. and it's super rich and tasty, and this would go good with it, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, on to our next. I like it. We have uh, Fall Brewing, and it's called Sound System, and I did a little taster of this down there at the uh, the Golden Rhino room down there in South Park while I was there, and uh, it is a hazy, and it's pretty doggone good. Look at them. What do you think of that action, huh? Yeah, I like that. It's got a cool looking can too. Yeah, they have good art, can art too. I have to say, but this was a 
This is just bought on spot where I just had a taster of it, and I said I got to have a four pack of that to bring to the bring to the show. So I think this is the second fall beer we had, but until then we really haven't had any. I think we got somebody calling in here. Let me try it on here first. Hello. Hey, Chris. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Things are good. Is your mom um, doing well? Yeah, just hanging out in the in the hotel or in the. I guess that not really a hotel. Hotel for sick people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, things are good. My mom just uh, just got done with her uh, her procedure. She's um, uh, she's actually getting dressed at this point. We should be out of here in the next uh, when she gets dressed and gets this um, uh, her IV removed. But um, it was like they were about an hour and a half late starting the procedure. So I figured we'd be out of here by four thirty, mm-hmm. um, and, and that's simply not the case. <laughs> but can you guys hear me at this point? Yeah, yeah. we can. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I got yeah, you. I, can. I got you in the on the iPad, going right into the recorder, and it's working okay. out fine. What? Uh, how'd she do? Good. I mean, I think she's you know relatively little pain. I didn't get it. It was weird. Like the doctor didn't come out and talk to us and, and wow. kind of give us a, or give me a, a heads up. But they said they really wouldn't have a, they'd have the pathology back by um, uh, by Tuesday. So at that point, we should um, should All have right. a, a little better idea of. Um, what what it looks like, but um, no, I think she's uh, she's good. She's in good spirits. Well, it's I mean, good certainly news. happy to uh, certainly happy to have it removed, right? And, yeah, and uh, so yeah, no, it was um, it was great. I mean, I think relatively quick procedure, a couple hours. Yeah. Well, we're jumping you into. You can hear me. Yeah. 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 We're, we're jumping can. in. We're jumping into some beers. We already topped our first one here. We got the. Uh, What's what's it say? Gazooker? Gazuki? Gazooker? Kiri? It's that modern time oh, yeah, smoke Grazuki. one. Gazuki, yeah. That's it. And uh, that was awesome. And now we're on to uh, a fall brewing hazy called Sound System. And then after okay. that, uh, we're going to uh, run into a society. Society has a new hazy out. And uh, I went up there and. Tasted that the other day, and I bought a four pack to bring home for us to go through. And so that'll be the next one. Then I got that double spirit foul, which is okay. amazing. Yep, and all beers according to Charlie you can buy. Yeah, everything you can get. So either at Valley Farms or okay. at the breweries. So that's a plus. So right out so there. So are we live it. right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are very well. Hey, so let's start off, guys. Do you guys have any decent beers this week? I did. I had a couple of lagers that I picked up at Fraser Farms. One of them was from Roadhouse Brewery. I think it's Roadhouse. Let me get that up on my phone real quick. Where are they out of, Steve? That is a good question. It's called the Roadhouse Brewing Company, RB, the Highwayman Pilsner. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, got a little truck, truck picture. Well, I, is that yeah. the... Uh, I had uh, I had your your loggers your double decocted uh, <laughs> logger from Humble Sea. Ah, you Street. drank all the Humble Sea. Yeah, I, I took care of that for you. No problems. You don't have to worry about putting that in the fridge. Yeah, there you go. Looks like that Roadhouse is from uh, Wyoming, from Jackson, Wyoming. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there. I remember so that there. brewery up there when we drove through. It was packed. We couldn't even get oh, into the it? place. Yeah, that's why we slid on over to the Bird and had uh, King Sue on tap. Was a enormous jump in uh, savviness of breweries. That's for sure. Anyways, well, we uh, we definitely uh, we had some good beers. What'd you have? You're up there in in Minnesota drinking bangers all day long. Yeah, I certainly um, I certainly popped some pretty good beers. I had a, um, you know I brought a few beers back for uh, um, for a couple of friends, and uh, I was able to uh, stop in and with the um, with the owner of, I know I've mentioned uh, this restaurant a few times, Ansari's Mediterranean Grill here mm-hmm. in the metropolitan area. I met up with uh, with Ramsey, uh, the owner of uh, of the brewery, and we um, we opened uh, we opened a couple of horse uh, barrel aged like the longest barrel ride, a phenomenal stout. Um, we opened another horse stout as uh, Cloud Breaker One, which was phenomenal. Yeah, and then a bottle of um, Monster Tones mm. as well. Um, so we, we definitely drank some, but I think the best beer that I had, there's a brewery in, um, in Iowa. It's called Lua, Lua Brewing. Yeah. It's in Des Moines. I actually have a bottle of a, of a triple IPA from them. Uh, but Ramsey brought out a, um, a stout from them, which was a, uh, pull this up real quick. It was, uh, it's called, uh, Requiem. It's a barrel aged stout with coconut and cinnamon. It was phenomenal. It was super, super tasty. Wow. Uh, so definitely will be on the hit list, and I'll try to um, acquire some of that moving forward. 
Well, did you get you you got your your guy now there in uh, Minnesota to let you pop bottles in his restaurant? That's not a bad gig either. Yeah, I actually, um, yeah, no, it was fun. We, um, uh, I brought a, um, a moxa beer in there the other day. We got to pop that at the, the brewery. It was just great. Like such a cool environment to, um, uh, you know, in the, in the kind of a, the deal is if you bring a bottle into the, into the restaurant, you pop it, it, it everybody, uh, it's accessible to everybody. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, you know, everybody gets an ounce or two. Uh, so for, there was a group of three guys who, um, uh, had said that they weren't stout fans. I brought in a <laughs> moxa, um, number two, it was their second anniversary stout. Yeah. And um, these guys were mind blown. <laughs> yeah. The stout. For sure. That's funny. So it was, it was pretty, it was pretty impressive. We just popped those out and they're like, oh no, no, we don't like stouts. <laughs> and then afterwards they're like, where can I get some of those? <laughs> yeah. They were certainly impressed with what they had going on. Well, we just wrapped up our hazy here. Really smooth. Yeah. It's a tasty yeah. ball brewing uh, sound uh, system. Uh, what's the ABV on that? I don't see that, but I, I'm looking right here at the hops. Cascade, Simico, and Chinook, and then it's a 6.6. 6.6. There you go. Easy drinker. Mm-hmm. The hops are really good. The, everything's tastes super soft mouthfeel. Kind of like it a lot. So I was definitely impressed by the little taster I had down there. So I went ahead and uh, grabbed a four-pack, hoping that... It, uh, it would taste as good as it did in the can as it did on the tap, and it does. So, good purchase there. And this is uh, in support of Muzak. Muzak has been providing guitars, drums, and support for music teachers since 2009. Hmm. So it's good part deal. Of their, part of their support network. I made a donation, I believe. I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there she is. How are you, Mom? <laughs> good to see you. She's looking great. I got a special guest star today. Yeah, yeah a, for sure. I'm on the show. I'm glad she's up and around there. We're pouring a new beer. We're pouring a beer for her. How's that? These beers, they're recording right now. We're 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 taking pictures and recording and moving along as we were as just as if you were here, Chris. Yeah. And the next beer is a society. Yeah. Society. This is their new hazy release. And it's called uh, Beer Folk Unite. No, this is uh, World of Wonders Hazy IPA 6.7. And this just released? Yeah. From Society? Yeah. I, um, uh, who was it? Uh, Grayson called me up and says, hey, do you know we got a new Hazy uh, available? And I'm like, no, I'll be right up. <laughs> so shot up there. It was super tasty. Shot up there and uh, grabbed a four-pack, had a beer with Troy and Grayson. And uh, I met Doug, I guess. So that was kind of nice. He was very friendly and nice, so maybe next time. Okay. Oh, mm. This is good. Yeah. This is mm. really good. Much more richer than the It's got a different thing. taste than that than the fall one for sure. It's a little um little milder on the front and heavier on the back to me. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. But it's uh it's gosh, it's got a lot of pop in it. I mean it's just got a lot, a lot of flavor compared to the the fall one. The fall one's good though. I mean it's yeah. just, it's a, that's a drinker, that's for sure. This one's only, uh, you know, 6.7, which is just a hair over what the other one was. So both big drinkers. I mean, you could you could really enjoy this one. It says fruity, juicy, snappy. That's what's on the uh, front of the can there. So I like that. And I, it does have all three of those. Snappy for sure. And their, their cans are uh, very similar to other things that they're putting out. So they, they look the same. I think this is the only difference is yeah. this part of the And label. the coloring. Yeah. Yeah. It's like coloring. Different. It looked like I, yeah, it I just caught the corner of the can, and it looked like the Good of the People can. Yeah, oh, that's World it. of Wonder. Yeah. So. yeah, same same can basically with uh, with the back part of the label is different. Yeah, I had the same experience to Charlie. Did. Yeah, you just said, Chris, I, when he when he showed it to me, I'm like, wow, that looks really familiar. I said, you it's... better not be drinking this beer before I do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we uh, we smashed that one out. It's tasting pretty doggone good. It's a it's got a lot of a lot of nose on it. Let me tell you. It's yeah, sp- so it looks like it's you know heavy on the uh, Southern Hemisphere hops. So Nelson, Motueka, Pacific Jade. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a taster. It's good, man. Yeah. I was shocked how good it was up there. And you had it on tap. Yeah, I had it on tap, and it's just as good out of the can too. So I'm this this is really fresh. I'm yeah, sure of it. I mean, they just, I think uh, Grayson said they just, uh, they filled up the rest of the cans they had uh, the other day. I think it was yesterday, and uh, this is the last of it, basically. So, he said that whatever, whenever they're out, they're out. 
of this, but uh, I'm sure they'll make this one again because it's a popular beer, I bet. I mean, it's just too tasty. I mean, Pupil is their mainstay, but sure. this is yeah. really good. And they have another beer out. It's an, uh, an IPA. It's uh, I think it's an 8.5 uh, double. It's called Hop Tooth. So pretty interesting. You might want to check that out. Have you guys tried their light beer? Yeah, it's delicious. We it we did a, we did a show. Yeah, on I really there. like that light. Did we have it on the show? I think we did. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't here. <laughs> you missed that one, huh? <laughs> That's funny. Did you call in that time? Maybe we did. I know I, we brought some in. I think Crazy we might have been pre gaming with it. That's what we might have yeah. been doing. I have to go back and well, we'll never get that intern to work on our database. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a spreadsheet and figure out what we've done and what we haven't done. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna plow, plow through this one. We got another couple of sips here. Uh, Good to see your mom up and up and out. Yeah, no. Um, Are you the only one there, Chris? Oh, shows there. Uh, what's up? Are you the only one there? I am. You can only I can only bring one person in the hospital. Hmm, that's mm. weird. And why'd she pick you? Are you a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> let's ha- let's ask her. <laughs> I'm thinking that she might have might have wanted their daughter there instead of you. <laughs> no, okay. just kidding. Mm. That was good. That's a pretty doggone good beverage. Anyways, we we're we're gonna wait till you get back to uh, crush that porter that uh, Steve has. He's been holding on to for a little bit. Okay. And uh, we'll do a we'll do an all porter show because I grabbed a few porters this week and uh, we'll roll those into one big show. I Is just it? picked up a porter too, like a porter blend. Yeah, I think we just had that. Though. Yeah, it's hard to find. Yeah, porter, they're, straight they're, porters yeah, anymore. Right. But I and mean, this is a flavored porter. What is it? Um, from Sierra Nevada. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So that should be delicious. Uh, what did we do? That, uh, we had that, uh, we had the Sierra Nevada. We've, we banged out a couple of Sierra Nevadas. We had that Oktoberfest one of theirs yep. last, uh, mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago. So good yeah. call. Yeah. I mean, they're putting out good beers. Let's drink them. That's yeah. what I say. The same thing too with fall because we, we hadn't had a fall brewing beer on until last week. And then this one, so it's like two in a row. No, we had fall before. We didn't, because I looked through the logos. Really? Yeah. Because I, we I had keep to... track of all the breweries, so when I do the YouTube page. I just must have drank it on my own then. That's yeah. terrible that I held you guys out on that. I apologize. Pretty sure I, pretty sure we did something. Mm. Oh, then I messed up on the logos. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. You <laughs> Maybe. All right, do you want to run into this next one here? A double. The Double Spirit Fowl, and this is uh, double IPA with strata and mosaic and cryo. Notes of pineapple, OJ, uh, overripe tropical fruit, and it's uh, 8.3. This is a Fair State collab. Ooh, Double Spirit Fowl, is it? Yes. And it is fantastic. Spirit Fowl is amazing, but this is Double Spirit Fowl, so it's got to be twice as good, right? That is hot stuff, let me tell you. So we got to think. It looks fantastic. It looks like orange juice. Ooh. Mm. Oh, my goodness. You can smell those mm-hmm. cryo, cryo, cryo. These jump out. They're a little jumpier than the other ones. Mm-hmm. On, like, on the nose, at least. The can art's got... Ooh, like yeah, the, that is the funny, funny um, uh, circles that are all intertwined with each other, kind of blurry. Like if you drank the whole can all by yourself. <laughs> this would definitely uh, set you off here. So what's the ABU on this? 8.3. 8.3. So it's a double IPA. And it's got some haze to it, Chris. Can you see that? It's got some haze to it. Man, those look tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very um, smooth. This is good, man. I mean, for an 8.3, or you got to watch out. Keep your eyes peeled. <sighs> so you're going to bring any beer home? So I have um, I I have that Lua yeah. um, I, that I'm going to bring back a, a triple IPA. The um, I don't have a whole lot of room. Uh, there is uh, there is another couple of beers that I will see what I come back with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just surprise us. We'll get that done. How's the weather out there? Well, yeah, the um, unfortunately I didn't, uh, didn't have a whole lot of time to hit breweries with the, uh, the amount of time that worked. You're coming back tomorrow, right? <laughs> I am. I'll be back at one thirty tomorrow. Okay. We'll catch you when I get back. I'll be back on Monday from Las Vegas. So we'll catch you guys then. Other than that, we're at uh, at the end of our show, and our double spirit foul is our mm-hmm. mm, final final beer. Man, it is. I don't know how we do this every time. It's like the last beer seems to be the better better of the beers. <laughs> the more we drink, the more we like the last one. Chris, which one did you like the best? 
<laughs> What's that? Which one did you like the best? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I uh, I'll tell you the um, man. They uh, they all looked good. Yeah. Well, that lager was very delicious, but different. Uh, we'd done the smoke lager before, so I mean, I just thought I wanted to compare them a little bit, but. Uh, I think this is on a on another level of. Uh, I think we Integrin was the yeah uh, the other one the yeah. one with the smoke logger <laughs> that so. was super smoky. This yeah. one is probably a little less. Yeah, well, this is uh, definitely yeah. Uh, should be over in just a minute. Definitely a good beer. Yeah. And uh, anyways, Chris, cheers, brother. Hope everything's okay. Give us the heads up. Let us know All how right, she's guys. doing. Hey, thanks for having me on. We'll uh, we'll pop some bottles next week. All right, All thank right. you, guys. Cheers. Bye. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.